So you have a Chromecast with Google TV and you have an issue with one of your apps. It doesn't matter what app it is. Maybe the app doesn't load. It gets stuck on buffering. You get like a black screen. There's no picture. Maybe it flashes black. Maybe the audio sync. Maybe you have Wi-Fi issues. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give you several solutions to get you up and running right now. And by the end of this video, most of you guys should be up and running. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and have your TV on. And then what I want you to do is I want you to pull the power plug from your TV while it's on. So my TV is on right now. I just pulled the power plug. Wait 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, go ahead and plug it back in. Turn your TV back on. Turn on your Chromecast and see if your app is working correctly. If it's still down, we're going to go to the next solution. So if the first option didn't work, the next thing I want you to do is this. I want you to go back wherever your Chromecast is. And you see the power plug right here. What I want you to do is go ahead and disconnect the power plug, wait like 30 seconds, 30 seconds, plug it back in, and then start up Chromecast and open up your app and see if it's working correctly. If it's still down, we're gonna to go to the next possible solution. Next thing is go to wherever your, um, your modem is or your router and your router. Go to, and what I want you to do is unplug it, okay? Now here I have a, a modem and a Wi-Fi router. If you have two devices, unplug them both, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in. If you only have one modem, uh, that's a modem and a Wi-Fi router, then just only plug that one. But I have two devices here, so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go ahead and unplug them. Unplug them both like that. Wait 30 seconds after 30 seconds. Go ahead and plug them both back in. Once you uh, plug back in your modem and your uh, wireless router, what you need to do is wait like a couple minutes, uh, give it time to connect, and then after uh, like two minutes, go ahead and open up your app on the uh, Google TV. Open up the app and see if it's working properly. Okay, if you're still down, we're going to go to the next possible solution. So if you're still down, next thing we're going to do is we're going to force stop the app. Okay, so again, we want to go to the settings. So you want to go all the way up, all the way to the right to your avatar photo. Go all the way over. Then you want to go down one to settings. Click on OK on the remote. Now from here, we're going to go down to apps. So go to apps right there and then click on OK on the remote. Now you want to go to your app, okay? If you can't find it here, then you want to go down to see all apps that you have installed. So we'll, we'll just go to all apps here. So for instance, let's say my issue was with the Netflix, okay? So let's just highlight Netflix. Let's move over to the right and let's just go ahead and force stop it right there. Click on force stop. Click on OK to confirm. Now just go ahead and go back to your app, open it back up and see if it's working. If it's still down, then we're going to go to the next option. Next thing we're going to try is to clear the cache. So just go back to the settings again. Go to settings and then go all the way down to apps. Go to apps again. And then go back to the um, app that you have an issues with. So let's say mine was Netflix again. So I'll move over. And then uh, before what we did was we forced stop. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, going to go ahead and clear the cache right here. Clear cache. Click on OK. And there we go. We just cleared the cache. Go ahead and open up your app and see if it's working. Okay. Now, if it's still down, then the next thing I want you to do is come back here again and go back to clear data here. Okay. The only thing is when you clear data, if I clear the data on my Netflix, I'll go ahead and clear it right, clear it right now. It says, um, if we clear the data, uh, this app data will uh, be deleted permanently. This includes all files, settings, and accounts, database, etc. So basically, once I click on OK here, I just um, logged out of my Netflix. I need to go back and log in again, okay? So once you clear the uh, data, log back in, if you need to log back in into your app and then see if it's working. Now, if you guys are still down, then the last thing that I have for you, or actually what you can do from here, if none, none of these steps works, you can try to do this. You can go ahead and uninstall the app and then reinstall it, okay? If that didn't work, then what you can do is do a factory reset. Uh, basically, you'll basically, um, Reset everything to factory default settings and it'd be as if you bought a brand new took it out of the box and you had to start the whole um, setup process and all that password and all that good stuff from the very beginning. There's two ways to do a factory reset. You can use the button that's you can press and hold the button that's on the Chromecast itself or you can go directly to the settings menu here. So again, if we just go directly to settings, go down there and you want to go down to system click on the enter and then you just want to go directly to about and then move over to the right and just go look for factory reset right there okay and go down and continue factory reset okay anyway if this worked for you 
Let me know what um, option worked for you. If it didn't work, and if it worked for you, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down, okay? Good luck, guys.